A lawyer for powerful state legislator Trey Kelly wants a criminal case against Kelly thrown out of court. Representative Kelly, the House Majority Whip, is accused of a misdemeanor charge of reckless conduct. The charges stem from his actions following a deadly hit and run accident in Cedartown. Senior I team reporter Dell Russell has followed this case since last year and has this report. My client is uh, obviously uh, upset at the tragedy that has occurred here. Lester Tate, attorney for state representative Trey Kelly, says his client is troubled by the auto accident that left a Cedartown man dead, but he did nothing legally wrong. Trey Kelly committed no crime here because it's not a crime to fail to stop and render aid unless you're a driver. Late last year, the I-Team examined the case of Eric Keyes, who was hit by a car while riding his bike in Cedartown. A grand jury indicted the driver of the car, Ryan Dover, seen here on the Justice for Eric Keyes Facebook page. The charges, hit and run, and reckless conduct. Alive, uh, unconsciously bleeding internally, needing help from, from us, and nobody was there. Dover left the scene of the accident and rather than calling 911, called his friend, State Representative Trey Kelly. Representative Kelly told police the two searched the scene and found a bicycle in a ditch, but no body. Kelly also didn't call 911. He called the police chief, Jamie Newsom, at his home. You don't just go and look. You dial 911 first. None of them did that. In a police report, Chief Newsom said he got the call 46 minutes after the accident and sent an officer to check the scene. Eric Keyes was found, still alive. He later died at the hospital. A grand jury indicted Kelly on one misdemeanor charge of reckless conduct. Attorney Lester Tate filed a motion asking that the indictment be thrown out. He argued Trey Kelly had no legal obligation to call 911 after his friend told him that he had hit something and they found a bicycle by the side of the road. But there's no duty to contact 911 at all, much less contact 911 immediately. District Attorney Jack Browning said that argument is flawed. His reason, Ryan Dover, who was the driver of the car, did have a legal obligation to call 911. And Trey Kelly was a party to that crime. But he does have a duty not to help someone else continue to commit a crime that's being committed. That's the party to the crime. Visiting Judge Stephen Schuster said both attorneys raised good issues. He wants written briefs filed, then he'll make a decision. A decision that will determine whether the criminal misdemeanor case against State Representative Trey Kelly proceeds. From Polk County, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.